Last week we discussed why you need a CRM from the first place and in this week we are going to talk about how to choose the right CRM for your business needs. Step number one will be to create a list of all your business requirements. This list is supposed to have two columns. Column number one will be all the must. Basically the things that the target CRM that you're going to acquire will do them perfectly. Now it's also important to say that once you are going to interview the vendors that are going to help you with the CRM implementation, they will need to tell you if the must, the items that you must have in the CRM, if they are a native part of the CRM or if they are going to charge you extra to implement them. We saw many times clients that talk to CRM vendors and the must list, the things that are mandatory and most basic for the company, they've been told that this is yes, that can be done. But then when they wanted to implement it, it cost them tens of thousands of dollars. So of course anything can be done, but it's important to know that you know how much it's going to implement it and if it's a native part of the CRM. The second list that you're going to create will be all the cream all the cool stuff that you want to have, but if the CRM is not offering those items, it's okay. CRM license fees are also a very tricky point. You will have some companies that will offer you a very inexpensive price for the first year, and the second year the price will go up. You will have different companies that offer you for the first licenses a little bit of money or some basic CRM with no capabilities, don't fall to those traps. You will need to have a very strong CRM. You will need to know in the beginning how much it's going to cost the licenses and also in general, how much money it will cost to implement additional features on the CRM. As an example, Salesforce will be a very good CRM but it's more for enterprise, for big companies. Every small change is thousands of dollars. While Zo CRM, for example, it's more for small businesses, mid-sized businesses. And also, therefore, the implementation and changes are not that expensive. Another point that is critical for 2022, and I'm sure that it's going to be more critical as time goes, it will be if your system the target CRM that you're going to use have open APIs. Basically, if your system can be extended so it can support more options in the future. You might be in the position right now that you have few employees and you don't really need any APIs with third parties. But guess what? When you grow, you will have more needs. And when you will have more needs, you will need to extend your CRM to connect with more systems. If your CRM do not have proper integrations with the outside world, you're stuck. And that will be the point that you will need to move to another CRM and that's painful. So I will recommend you from day one to go with a proper CRM with open APIs that can be extended with no problem. Next will be what type of support options your target CRM is offering. As an example, you can pick up your phone, you can call as a client, even though you're not a client. Call as a client to one of the companies that you are targeting and see how fast they answer the phone. In Zoho, for example, you will have a chat option that from the CRM you can click on chat with us and it opens a chat and you can chat with the agent. You can give them a phone call, you can send an email. The same thing you need to do with other systems. You need to make sure that the level of support that you are going to get from your target CRM is good. Otherwise, you will need to spend lots of money with vendors that will eat your hours on basic support questions. The last item on the list will be how easy it is to operate and manage the CRM that you're going to use. I don't like any CRM that I cannot manage in-house. It's horrible. You will be the hostage of the company and when you move from them to another company, you will need to spend more money because they need to understand what was done on the previous 
with the previous developer. Horrible, painful. You will need to manage the CRM in-house. Whatever CRM that you're going to choose, you need to make sure that you're starting, let's say, a trial account, you're playing with the system and you need to understand how to use it. Most systems, you know, in 2022, most systems will be easy to manage. For example, Zoho CRM, the majority of our clients, we will help them implement and start the CRM. And from that point, they will do probably 90% of the work in-house. So it's not that difficult to maintain. And this is exactly what you need to do. As an example, I created nine Zoho courses. One of them is Zoho CRM, basically how to maintain and manage CRM A to Z, and that's for non-developers. So the idea is that whatever system that you are going to use, you will need to make sure that it can be managed in-house without a developer's help. That's it. So that was the session. Thank you very much for watching this session. In the next session, I'm going to work with you on how to choose the right vendor for your CRM project. I will see you in the next video.